Hello, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. Uh, well, sorry for being late. So the thing is, I was setting some things here with my computer. And also, uh, there was a new date in, in Zoom. So I was downloading that and, and updating my, my, my app. So uh, that's a reason why I'm seven minutes late. Uh, well, guys, uh, we're going to uh, continue with all the uh, topics that we were that we has been developing during uh, these uh, weeks. So, um, as you know, today gonna be uh, the last class tomorrow. We wanna we wanna, we wanna have a uh, the the last one, the last uh, video conference. Uh, but that one is gonna to be it's going to be based on um, the the final test. Okay, we're going to be discussing all the information that we have there in the final test, and uh, we're gonna be reviewing um, some topics that uh, that that is going to be appearing in the final test too. So before to start with this class, um, I would like to ask you if you have any questions for me uh, about the platform, about the uh, some things that you want to know uh, about English Corporativo or something uh, about um, the, the the topics that you want to discuss. I don't know. So this is the right moment in order to do it. Teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, no, I, I uh, only want to tell you that I'm finishing a, a slideshow for a presentation I have to, to do in around nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm gonna be a little absent for this class. Oh, okay. But uh, but uh, but I but I I'm I'm gonna try to to pay uh, attention as much attention so. I, I can. Okay, okay. So, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me the, for letting me know that. Uh, well, guys, um, as you know, we uh, wanna see, wanna, I mean, watch um, today the last uh, videos from section number four, and I'm going to um, share my screen right now. Okay, about this video with the, the I mean the. The video is going to be about clauses, state of reasons, and conditions. As you know, we're discussing this, uh, the, the previews, I mean, this in this case was on, on Thursday, about the use of unless even is an un, as long as in some other connections. We're, not, we're going now to extend that information. Uh, let me just do this and this. Can you, can you see my screen? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for letting for letting me know that. Uh, well, guys, um, I'm going to play it right now. And please pay attention. This is an information that you already listened, but the, I, I need you to listen again because um, we have to review this information. So pay attention to it. Hello, even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reasons and condition, stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even 
if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case. Or in case introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Okay, we'll not stop there. Um, as you know, um, classes are uh, formed from reasons and conditions. Um, I would like to extend an information and, and talk about zero and first condition. I don't know if you have listened if you have ever, ever listened to uh, those, um, those topics, zero conditional and first conditional. Have you ever listened to that? No, teacher. No. Okay, anybody here has any idea about zero and first conditional? Ms. Galdemir said no, but what about the rest? What about the rest of you? Okay. No, teacher. No. Okay. So we're going to be uh, discussing uh, tonight about zero and first condition. Um, in this case, I'm going to well, I'm going to share this uh, whiteboard in order to uh, explain a better way. Um, we we'll talk about zero and first conditional. Um, we are uh, talking about clauses, uh, and as I said before, this needs a condition and also a, a reason. Sometimes that reason can be comes in, in a result of something. Um, in in certain first conditional, um, the word if, or in this case, the conditional if, uh, it's gonna be the main uh, source in order to create the clauses. We wanna start with zero conditional. Zero conditional. Zero conditional. Sorry for for my my writing. Um, okay, in the case of the zero conditional, um, in this kind of sentence, um, it's gonna it's formed from using um, simple present and simple present, and we also gonna use the condition if. It's, this is gonna be this is gonna become the if clause. Um, in a clause, we have the main clause and also the dependent clause or dependent clause. If we want to talk about first conditional, I mean, zero conditional. It says that uh, we use this kind of uh, conditional to talk about things that are true uh, or that happen, and uh, whatever things whatever other things um, and can happen. It, how, how, how can I explain this? Well, we're gonna use this, this example first. In zero conditional, we have the following structure. We have the if to create a clause, and also we can add, as I said before, the simple present. In this case, I'm going to use, you hit eyes. You. It. So, come on. According to this uh, sentence, and using the conditional uh, word that we have here, that is, if 
Okay. Um, what happens if you eat ice? What is the things going to happen or, or the result of eating ice? Can you tell me that? It melts. It melts, yes, that's right. So I'm going to write it with red color. It melts. In zero conditional, uh, as I said before, uh, these clauses is used or this statement are used uh, to talk about real world. And um, sometimes, or some often, uh, these kind of sentences refers to uh, general truths or scientific facts, like the ones that we have here. Um, because in this sentence, we have a scientific fact. This is considered um, zero conditional because no matter what happened, the result is going to be the same, okay? Um, if you hit ice, there is not other possibility. So if you hit ice, it melts, okay? That's what happened because that's a, a, a scientific fact. That's a, a, a general truth. Okay, so uh, this is how we form this kind of clauses. And uh, this is a uh, cool zero conditional. Why? Because we're using in the, the structure of simple present with simple present. And sometimes we can change the order of the sentence. In, in this case, um, we can, um, okay, in this case, we can change the order like um, the following. Let me write it here, eyes. Melts, I mean, sorry. Come on, if What is happening here? Okay, uh, when we change the order, the, the meaning is the same, okay? The meaning is the same. The thing here is that we are using the main clause in a different position in the, in the statement. Because in the first one, I'm saying, if you hit eyes, that is the condition, okay? The condition or the clause condition. Um, in I have, it melts, that's gonna be like, like the results of something, the, the, the main clause in this case, um, we can change it, we can, trans, we can I mean, um, uh, locate the main clauses at the beginning of the sentence, like ice melts, and also because we are, we are uh, in this case, uh, the, the, the conditional clause, if uh, we use a comma, and um, I will put it at the end, all the, the condition uh, sentence. In this case, I'm going to say, if you hit ice, or if you hit it, in this case, it refers to the noun ice. Um, so we can use it in both weight. Like if you hit ice, comma, it melts. If uh, in, in the other uh, form, we can say, ice melts if you hit it the meaning is gonna be the same. Um, well, there are some other examples such as, well, I have some of them here, like um, when, let me see, okay. Like when we say, if you freeze water, it becomes solid. Okay, that's a scientific fact. Or oh, for instance, we have the other examples like plants die if they don't get enough water. All the sentences are in simple present um, uh, tense, okay? Why? Because we're using a pronoun, the word, sim I mean, the verb in simple present, and also a, a complement. The same happened here. We're using the pronoun and the verb in simple present. 
That's why we are going to call this zero conditional. So in zero conditional, we use simple present plus simple present. And also we have to use the if. There is something that can be, that you can, um, you can change in this kind of uh, conditional statement. Why? Because in, a, in the case of if, I can, uh, instead of writing if, uh, I can say when, okay? I, or I can use the word when. The meaning is going to be the same, okay? And the result is going to be the same in, in the second uh, sentence here in this conditional uh, tense, I mean, uh, sentence. Uh, if I say, when you eat ice, it smells, the meaning's the same. If I say, I smelled when you hit, hit it. So um, just in zero conditional, we can do, oh, I mean, in zero conditional, we can use both words, if and when, and the meaning is going to be the same. And the sentence is going to be called zero conditional. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Also, uh, we have what is called first conditional. In the first conditional, um, well, we are going to use just only um, if, okay? Let me, let me show you this. Just give me a second, I'm going to erase this. Um, okay. Um, in the case of the first conditional, uh, there's going to be a change. Why? Because in first conditional sentences, we're going to be using the simple present and also the simple future. In the case of uh, the structure, it can be uh, like the following. When I use the if, that's going, that's a word that we use for conditional, in this case, if. Uh, plus the simple present plus, in this case, we want to use the simple future. Okay, simple future. The conditional, simple present, and simple future. If I write a, a sentence using uh, that structure, I can say so. Uh, for instance, if it rains, if it rains, comma, I will is take. I will stay at home. I mean, stay at home. Period. Can you see this sentence? Yes or not? Okay. There we have the the the, the following sentence. The following statement. It says, "If it rains, I will stay at home." What happened here? Okay. Uh, we have a, um, a set of possibilities. Why? Because um, when we use the, the first conditional, um, there is use for things that may happen, okay? Or, the pro or we're going to be talking in this case about probabilities. So is something happen, okay? something else can happen, but we are not sure about that because that's going to depend on the first fact. 
So if it rains, in this case, in the sentence that we have here, is that thing happen, what going, what's going to be the result? Okay, I will say, huh? but that result can change. So uh, if it rains, I will uh, use my umbrella, for instance. Um, I will uh, walk to my office or I will use the car to go to my office. If you notice there, I'm using just the simple, I mean, the simple future because they have, I have a set of possibilities um, about a specific um, um, situation. So I have the situation and also I have the results. Um, in this case, the conditional, um, as we know, conditional because uh, one uh, actions depend on the other action. Um, in the first condition, we can do the same. We can change the order. I can use, I will stay at home if it rains. So that can be another possibility of it. Uh, in this case, we cannot use, we cannot use when, because if we use when in first condition, it doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, we don't have like, like, like the meaning we want to express in this kind of sentence. Is it clear what I'm saying? So in this case, I, I'm going to write the, the other, the other um, uh, order of this statement. I, I will stay at home if it rains. Period. So something like that. There we, there we have the two orders. I can use um, the simple present at the beginning. With, in this case, it's the conditional, um, the conditional sentence. And I'm going to use the main sen sentence uh, at the end or vice versa. I can use the main sentence at the beginning and the conditional sentence uh, at the end, okay? So, uh, in the uses of this of this uh, first um, conditional sense, it says that we use to talk about possibilities in the present or in the future. So, um, we're going to always express those things uh, in 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 simple present and also in simple future. Um, what you are going to do right now is create by examples using a zero conditional and also using first condition. That's going to be the activity, the first activity that you're going to be developing um, in this video conference. So do you have any question before, uh, before working on those examples? Is we will write five sentences of each uh, conditional or? Yes, you wanna, wanna write five sentences per each conditional. So in this case, five sentences using zero conditional and five sentences using first conditional. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, you're going to have, in this case, I think that six minutes is enough in order to write those sentences. If you need more time, just let me know, okay? So the time start right now. How many sentences do, do, do we need to write, teacher? Five sentences per each condition. In this case, five sentences using zero conditional and five sentences using first conditional. At the end, you are going to send me a uh, 10 sentences. Oh, the sentences also have to be sent uh, using the WhatsApp group, okay? Oh, okay, I got it.
just one minute less and I haven't seen um, anyone. Just, uh, I mean, send the, the sentences. So let me see. Oh, Mr. Torres, you already sent it. Very good. Let me see. So you condition now, if you hit water and you, Okay. Muy bien, excelente, Mr. Torres. Very good. Good examples. Do you need more time, guys? Yes, no. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, a few minutes, please. Ah, okay, so I will give you two minutes more. Mister, good night. No. Good night, sir. Uh, I entered a few seconds ago, so I don't know uh, what the topic is. But uh, right now, I'm checking the checking out the the, uh, the WhatsApp. So I now I see some examples about zero condition and fixed conditional, right? Yes. I don't know if the class is... Okay, yes. zero conditional and first conditional. Yes. And you need yes. some examples about that. Yes, find examples for each one, and you have to send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay, excellent, excellent. I, I gonna work on that. <laughs> okay, perfect, very good. I tried, thank you. Okay, if you have any question, just let me know, okay? Great.
Okay, very good. So I'm seeing that some of you have already sent um, the exercise, but there are some others that I haven't sent it because we are here in this video conference around, uh, let me see, we are uh, 10 people here connected. So I will be waiting uh, for your exercise, exercises there. So what we're going to be working on, um, it's in um, a short conversations using zero conditional. Um, it's going to be a short conversation, a really short conversation because I'm asking you to include just three or four participations using zero conditional. So um, you already sent some of, of the examples there that you can use or in, in that you can include in your conversation. So um, I will give you, in this case, just seven minutes in order to create your conversation. And then you are going to be back to the general, to the general uh, video conference. And you are going to um, do the role play of that conversation. OK? Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear? Yes, it's sure. sure. OK. Okay, very good. So I'm going to create a breakout room right now, and I will send you to uh, to personal rooms. And you're gonna be like two or three participants. If you are three, ah, also the participations, the four or three participations, uh, must be per each member of a in this case the group or the peer or the per, with the person that you're going to be working on. So see you in seven minutes. Okay. Uh, Mister, you want to ask something? No, 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 teacher. Just just paying attention and instructions. Okay, very good. So I will send you to the uh, breakout room right now. See you in seven minutes. Hello, Nathalie. Hello, myself. Well, we are going to make a conversation. You see, zero conditional and first conditional, right? Oh, I, um, okay, I understand that only the zero, con zero condition. Zero, okay, okay. Well, we have to create a small conversation. Yes. Okay, give me a moment. <laughs> I think that this is a hard situation to because we, we don't have enough experience and we have to put this kind of sentences in a normal conversation. <laughs> uh, we have to use only uh, a simple a simple ideas. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So you don't have to be afraid. Just give me a moment. Okay. okay. Mm, we are going to use something, something, 
simple like okay and i see a Nathalie a little bit tired pale and tired and i see okay oh. i say hi Nathalie. hello mr mariano torres you look pale and tired and Nathalie says why? Yes. I feel so tired. You feel? No, you, you, you are going to feel so tired. Mm -hmm. Just give me a moment. This is a simple of a conversation. Yes, it's a conversation. It's a small conversation. And I'm going okay. to tell you the Okay, hello, uh, Mr. Moran. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Oh, you are with Mr. Vasquez. Yes. Uh, yeah, I will, I will move you because uh, he told me that he won't be, uh, he will be just listening um, this, this video conference. Okay, I will move you with Mr. Moran. Yes, he said the same to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will move you right now. <laughs> Okay, teacher. If I study, I if Hello? I study. I I yeah. passed the exam, but this uh, I think that this Hello? is a third condition, probably because you're using a future structure uh, and the conditional, right? Or a thought could be like uh, if I study, I pass the exam. Uh, both are in present, right? If I study, I pass the exam. This is Hello? a conditional, right? Hello. Hello, sir. I'm sorry for interrupting you because uh, there is a situation. There is a situation here uh, because Mr. Moran was with Mr. Basque, and Mr. Vasquez told me that he won't be available for working uh, tonight because he is uh, working some things. Can you please include to Mr. Moran in your conversation? Of course. Okay, yeah. very good. So I will let you be working uh, on the conversation. See you okay. in a moment. Nice. Great. Okay. So uh, I don't know if it's clear that that part. Because circle. Why? Why don't? Uh huh. Hi. 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 <laughs> I think time is over. <laughs> yeah. I think. Uh, no, it's not over. I think teacher is taking. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I I will ask. Well, why don't we dinner out? So you you may say no. I don't want to go out. And then I will say, if you want to go out, I will cook dinner. Then I will go cook dinner at home. Okay. No, I I don't want. Don't go out. Okay, and you will say what? I got there, there in the chat. If you don't want to go out, I will go in at home. Okay. So um, let's see another another sentence you you have to say using the close zero close or okay first close. If if I want to wait for you to cook the dinner, I think I will die. <laughs> I will die. You can say if I wait, if I wait until you cook, uh -huh. I will faint. Faint, you, you, do you know how, what faint means? No, no, I don't. I gotta say. 
what? Desmayarse. Uh -huh. Like pass out. But I, uh, pass out like die. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, desmayarse. Quiero ver how do you say that? Desmayarse. Faint. Faint. Yes. That's the word. A I N T. Okay. okay. I will faint. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. We, oh, dos, cuatro, seis. The, okay. No, please don't faint because if you faint, I will be very, very worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you faint, I will be very worried. <laughs> okay. If, yeah. if you do it. Yeah, please no. I will be very worried. Ok, dos, cuatro, seis, ocho. Tenemos ocho. We have eight sentences. <laughs> Four particip participations each one. Exactly. Did, you, did you write them down? No, no. Please oh. copy and send it to me uh, by WhatsApp or, or in the chat. Just let me correct the 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 words because I was <laughs> just <laughs> like <laughs> don't, don't worry send it send it to me just like that and I will in, in private. Yeah, in yeah, private. Yeah. Okay, let me see. What's what's your number, Maritza? Because I have a uh, seven let me see. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> in, in English. En español, Maritza. <laughs> <laughs> seven seven four one. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's see if I can. Tiene, tiene su nombre. Seven seven four one. Four eight three five. Four eight three five. Okay, let me find you. Four, I can okay. here. I can. I see. Send them. Okay. Hi. Ah, sorry. I was, I was, I was talking. I was asking you something, and I, and I didn't uh, receive an uh, an answer. But I noticed that I was mute. So I was asking you guys, sorry, I was asking you if you already complete uh, the activity. Do you complete it? Well, I think we didn't do the, all the quantity you said, but we have mm -hmm. some. Oh, you have some, yes, that, that, that's what I was looking for. If you can use just uh, two, three sentences, just one, so it's okay, don't worry. The thing is that you can um, uh, use it in your conversation. So uh, he's going to be, he's, who is ready? Who is ready? 
Miss Vida. I think Miss Miguel Damas. Ah, okay. So Joe. Uh, and you... I can start. Okay, very good. You work together, so go ahead. Hello. And here. Okay. Okay, I will start. If this class doesn't finish soon, I won't be able to cook the dinner for tonight. Well, Maria, uh, I will cook dinner if you go to the supermarket. If I go to the supermarket tonight, I'm, I'm going to buy many things I don't need because I am hungry. <laughs> uh, well, what do you think? We can go out for dinner. No, I don't want to go out. Well, if you don't want to go out, I will cook dinner at home then. If I if I have to wait for you to cook the dinner, I, w I think I will faint. Oh no, Maria, please don't faint because if you faint, I will be very worried. <laughs> okay. okay, that's it. That's, okay. that's all, okay, very good, excellent, excellent. Um, Mr. Torres? Yes, teacher, I was working with Neftali and Moises and we, we prepared something small. Okay, so go ahead, sir. Okay, are you ready, guys? Yes, Mariano. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to start. Hi, Neftali, no, you no. look. Are you ready, Neftali? Okay. No. Can send the chat. Are you ready, Nathalie? I have copy. I have watched the chat. Mr. Mr. Hernandez, I can Ready, hear Nathalie? you well. I can hear you well. So, uh, can you repeat it again, please? Um, I mentioned that um, I forgot copying the conversation. Okay, we are going to try to. I'm going to tell your part. Don't worry. Are you ready, Moises? Yes, Mariano, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Nefali. You look pale and tired. And Nestle say, Yes, I feel so tired. And I say, If you go early to bed, you can rest more at night. Uh, yes, Nefali. If you want to be more healthy, you have to rest. And if I say, how can I rest more if I had a lot of work to do? Yes, Nathalie, improve your time if you want to take some time to rest after the work. And I say, Nathalie, if I can give you an advice, if your work needs a lot of your time, maybe it's a good idea to search for another one. And Nathalie ends with, if I get another word, I can be more healthy and happy. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good, sir. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Mr. Morales, Ms. Garcia, and Mr. Uh, Moran. Ready? Uh, I, well, actually, we have a little, a little problem with, uh, with the, uh, with the work or the homework because uh, the problem was that that Adela she uh, didn't didn't understand the whole the whole uh, the whole zero condition and the first condition and I I had to to I had to explain it <laughs> everything uh, again to have that the topic clear so I spent the whole time uh, uh, working on it so don't worry yeah, sir. don't yeah. worry don't worry so um well so I'm sorry no don't worry uh, well, guys, um, um, for tomorrow, we're going to be working on uh, the final test. We're going to see all the exercises, all the, the, the uh, audios that we have there in order to solve the exercises too. 
Um, and uh, that's going to be focused on it. And also we are going to be reviewing some topics that maybe uh, aren't clear yet. Um, I mean, that aren't clear yet. Um, so we're going to be checking that information and, and, and some things that we can solve there if you, if you uh, haven't completed um, that final test. So uh, for now, this is the, the, the end of the, of the classes, of the video conferences, but tomorrow I, I need you to connect at eight o'clock, okay? So, um, and sorry for, for being late to, to tonight because I was setting some this, as I said before, I was updating my, my uh, app here in my computer. So, um, well, time is over and um, I have to say goodbye and, and also have a nice night, guys. And I will see you, uh, Miss Mira, do you want to ask something? Yes, just I wanted to say tomorrow I have uh, um, an appointment at okay. 30. So maybe I will be late uh, for the class, uh, but I will try to, to make it to, to be more or less accurate. Okay. okay, okay, don't worry, Miss, don't worry. Do your things. Uh, uh, at your time, so don't worry if you cannot connect here. You have been here uh, basically the, the whole um, the whole video conferences. Um, well, guys, blessing for all of you, and bye bye. See you um, tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Not the chair. Good night, sir.